Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. Extreme ultraviolet flash recorded today. Today began with an M2.9 class solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash on April 8 at 1, 46 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing a minor shortwave radio blackout over the Pacific Ocean. Ham radio operators and mariners may have noticed loss of signal and other unusual propagation effects at frequencies below 25 MHz. The source of the flare was emerging sunspot AR3272. This active region has an unstable, beta-gamma, magnetic field that harbors energy for more M-class solar flares. Any eruptions this weekend will be geo-effective as the sunspot is turning toward Earth. Using this LASCOC2 filter, showing the last 24 hours of solar eruptions, it is clear that sun is very active. Stay tuned for updates as I'll keep an eye on sunspot 3272, as it turns toward Earth in the near future. This phenomenon is called solar prominence and it is a vortex of hot plasma that is spun up by the magnetic field of the sun. While the shape can appear to be tornado-like, it is not formed by winds and a thunderstorm. While this might be the first time you have seen one, these whirls occur a few times a year. Here's a closer view. When the sun goes down tonight, step outside and look west. Venus and Mercury are shining through the twilight just above the horizon. Venus is brilliant and unmistakable, Mercury is dimmer and lower, but rising and brightening every night as it approaches greatest elongation from the sun on April 11th. The scene will improve every evening over the next week. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Naya. Naya.